Hi, I'm Lisa Bronner. Today we're going green with laundry care with Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap and Salsuds. Our skin is in constant contact with the fabrics we launder. There are the fabrics we sleep on, the fabrics we dry with, and of course the fabrics we wear. The ingredients in our laundry cleaners matter because any residues left on the fabrics have the potential of getting on us, and anything that gets on us can get in us with possible health impacts. Many conventional cleaners are designed to leave things on the fabrics. Most commonly, this is fragrance. If your laundry smells like some manufacturer's version of crisp cotton or fresh sunshine or a summer's day, then that means there are synthetic chemical residues left on the fabrics. The problem with fragrance, and this is true for both skincare products and house cleaning products, is that it is not a single ingredient. It is a mixture. It can be as many as 3,000 different possible ingredients. Common among these are phthalates or synthetic musks. Phthalates allow fragrance to cling to fabrics, keeping your laundry smelling fresh for a week or more. Phthalates are a problem because they're being linked to everything from skin irritations to allergies, even to reproductive harm. The smell of clean is a big shift for someone making the switch from conventional to green cleaners. You have to retrain your brain to change the smell of clean. A freshly washed load of laundry should smell like nothing at all. Another common residue on laundry is from fabric softeners. Conventional fabric softener or dryer sheets work by leaving a residue on the fabrics. That softness you feel is actually a layer left on the towel's fibers. This coating is commonly made up of quats or quaternary ammonium compounds. Quats are asthmogens, which means they create asthma in otherwise non-asthmatic people. You might be noticing that I've been a little vague with what might be in these. That's because ingredients aren't required to be disclosed. Now that's changing in the state of California, which passed the Cleaning Products Right to Know Act in 2017. Now this doesn't go into full effect until 2021, but hopefully will carry over to other states. Until then, consumers are in the dark. Better to go with products where manufacturers have voluntarily disclosed ingredients and you know they're good. Dr. Bronner's makes two products that do all this, the Pure Castile Soap and the Biodegradable Salsuds. There's full ingredient disclosure, only essential oils for scent, and no residues. Laundry is one of the original 18-in-1 uses for the Pure Castile Soap. Salsuds is a more concentrated cleaner for the house that is highly effective at tackling stains and is superbly clean rinsing, especially in hard water. In a regular washer, use two tablespoons of the sal suds per load. With the Castile, use about a third cup of the soap. Up these amounts for really grungy loads. With an HE washer, use about half these amounts. Now with the hard water in my area and the stains on my kids' clothes, I opt for the sal suds. Add-ins are optional, and with sal suds, I generally use it alone. However, if I'm washing my cleaning rags or musty towels, I might add half a cup of baking soda at the beginning of the load or a cup of white vinegar at the end. In the laundry, baking soda deodorizes, brightens, and whitens. And vinegar not only acts as a fabric softener, but further fights, stains, and deodorizes. Add it to the fabric softener compartment. And don't worry, it will fully rinse out and not leave a smell on your clothes. I hang dry shirts, pants, and dresses, but with more laundry than time in my life, larger items like towels and sheets as well as small things like socks, I toss in the dryer. Thanks for joining me for Green Laundry Care. I'll see you the next time we go green.